Hello everyone, I am Professor Bina Balal and today we are going to see how to implement routing information protocol that is RIP using Cisco Packet Tracer. Okay, let's go ahead and implement our RIP using Cisco Packet Tracer. So this is the platform of Cisco Packet Tracer. First, we will be selecting the devices which are useful to implement our today's experiment. Okay, so from the end devices, let's select the PCs. Then from the network devices, we require routers. So we will select the router. Then we will also require a switch to be selected. So we will select a switch. Now after selecting all the network devices and end devices, let's connect them together. Using the, I am using the automatic connection for connection of the end devices and the network devices. So this is my automatic connection. You have observed that some of the uh, connections have already turned from red to green and some are still not on. Okay. Now next we will have to, now it, the scenario is like there are two routers which are connected together and this side is one network and this side is another network. Okay. So let's give names to the network. We'll, uh, impl uh, we will uh, denote them by the IP address is, suppose this is my network A and it is having an IP address say 122.163.1.0 and this side is my network B. So this is, this side is my network B which I am giving a name network, network B. And say let's give the IP address 192.155.1.0. Okay. Now we have to configure uh, the PCs by giving them the IP addresses. So this side is. I'll use IP configuration and 122.163.1.2. This is the subnet mask and this is the default gateway 122.163.1.1. Now let's configure the PC on this side of the network desktop IP configuration. 192.155.1.2 this is the default uh, this is the mask let's give the default gateway 192.155.1.1 now the, i have configured the pcs which are belonging to network a and network b now let's go to the router to configure them so if you just keep the cursor over here this is fa0 slash 0 matlab fast ethernet so we will be using that so config fa0 slash 0 we will put the ip address 192 no not 192 122.163.1.1 this is the subnet mask we will put this on now you observe that the left hand side is started becoming green. Let's do the right hand side network config fast ethernet and this side is 192.155.1.1 subnet mask. I will turn this on. Okay. So if you just observe the devices and the connections on the network involving routers has started becoming green which was red earlier okay 
so now what is remaining now i keep my cursor if you see carefully there is a clock sign and se2 slash 0 and on this side it is se2 slash 0 without a clock okay so we need to do the configuration of this side of network it's like this is network a this is network b and this is also another network which is existing so let's give an uh, some ip address to this network 10.10.1.0 for example Okay, so this is my network which is a third network existing between the two routers. Fine, so let's go ahead and configure this. So this is serial 2 slash 0. So I will put this side gateway is 10 dot 10 dot uh, what was the IP 10 dot 10 dot 1 dot 0. So 10 dot 10 dot 1 dot say 2. This is the subnet mask okay and one more thing since there is a clock I will have to go in the settings I will have to go in 2 slash 0 and also I will uh, I just missed out this step clock rate so I will have to give a clock rate say suppose we'll have to give a clock rate say let's give 64,000 so we will give this clock rate okay so ip address is 10.10.1.2 this is the subnet mask which automatically came then i will have to go in settings okay and i have to save this in nvram which is non volatile ram okay same way i will have to go here go to serial 2 slash 0 there was no clock Please remember there was no clock. So I will have to give no clock which is denoted by net not set IP configuration. This side was 10.10.1. Say 3. Because this side is like one device, that side is like one device. So this way clock is not set. I put this on. Okay. So if you see now the entire network has become green in color which was red earlier right okay now uh, let's uh, try to send a packet from say i take this packet suppose if i try to send it from here to here all right so if you see it is successful fine if i try to send a packet from here to here again it is successful fine now let's try to send a packet from this network a to network b so i am trying to send a packet from network a to network b if you see it has failed now why it has failed very obvious reason now this pc and this router knows the information about each other this pc and this router knows the information about each other but this PC and this PC are not remember, uh, not uh, knowing about each other's network. This Rather, this router and this router does not have any information about each and every network. So, we have to teach or give this information to the router so that it learns about the other network. And exactly here, the role of RIP comes into picture. Okay. So, RIP is a routing information protocol in which we are giving information to the router about the other networks which are connected to it. Let's go ahead and use RIP. I am clicking on the router. You can see over here RIP. So, I am clicking RIP there. Now, here you have to give all the networks which are connected to this router. So, one of the network which is connected is 122.163 dot 1 dot 0 i have to add another network is 10 dot 10 dot 1 dot 0 you have to give all the network addresses over here and the third network which is connected is 192 dot 155 dot 1 dot 0 so i have added three networks under rip to give information to the router about these three networks which are existing now, I have done this using config. It can be even done 
using command line interface with these commands which you see below. So when you use config, the commands automatically come down or if you give the command automatically it will be executed. So any which ways, any one method you can use. In this implementation today, I am not using CLI, I am using the config mode. You can even as well go and use the config mode. Okay. Yes. Again, go to settings. Save this in NVRAM. All right. Okay. Same thing we have to do for this router. Go to RIP. Now here you will have to again add all the same three networks. Okay, 122.163.1.0. This is first network. Any in any sequence you can add. There is not a fixed sequence. 10.10.1.0. One minute. Ten dot. Let me just eight minute. It's 122 dot 163 dot 1 dot 0 this is one network then 192 dot 155 dot 1 dot 0 then 10 dot 10 dot 1 dot 0 I will go to settings and save this in NVRAM. Now let's see if my packet is recognizing and being sent from source to destination. Alright. One minute. It is successful. So if you see it is successful. So from here, from here to here, it is successful. Again, let's try from here to here, it is successful because we have already given the information to the respective routers about the paths or the networks which are connected to it, which they should recognize. Okay, now this was in the real time mode. Now let's see if it is working in the simulation mode i am picking up a packet this is my source this is my destination i start the simulation So this is my destination where the packet was supposed to be delivered and now it's the reverse journey in the simulation mode which is showing how the acknowledgement of the received packet is obtained by the source. So you will see the acknowledgement with the help of a tick mark. Okay, so this is what is your acknowledgement which has happened and what you get is a successful delivery of the packet as well as its uh, acknowledgement. This was the video about the implementation of routing information protocol and configuration of the network. If you have any doubts, please put in the comment section. Thank you so much.